hello. Just checking if I'm actually on live. I think I am. Yeah, I've just had the little notification come down to say I am. Hi everyone. It's my very first live that I've ever done. So it's very, very strange to even be on here right now. Um, so if those of you who don't know me, I'm Jess from Jessica's Beauty. I'm a part of the Light Elegance UK team, uh, which is a massive privilege. Hi, Millie. Hi, Laura. Oh, so many joining already. <laughs> it's quite frightening. Um, so just a little bit about me. So I've been using Light Elegance for about six years now. Um, there was a salon um, local to me um, that I followed for a while. And I was just amazed with all their nail art, the glitters they were using. So I had a little look and realised they were using this brand Light Elegance that I'd never heard of before. Uh, so I did training um, with the brand and fell in love um, and never looked back. So, yeah, it's quite strange, really, like being with a brand for six years. I mean, I've only been doing it for set nails for nine years so six years is my longest like relationship with one brand and I can never see myself changing because it's so good so if you don't know get to know um so before I waffle on too much I'm just going to get myself in position to do a demo on the micro French it's probably better actually me just twisting the camera around so one sec if I even know how to oh there it is there we go. I was thinking, how on earth do I twist the camera then? Um, so we're going to be demoing how to do a micro French. So something really slim, skinny, um, just very natural looking. It's like a little something, but nothing on your nails. That's what I like because I'm very more into my natural sets. That's me. And definitely on short nails. Um, but it obviously it can work on both long and short um but I just love it on like your natural nail bed length I think it just looks super cute and natural so yeah so whilst I'm doing this um like I'll when I'm in between curing um I'll go through and if there's any questions um feel free to ask um so yeah let's get started so um going to demo on these two so I'm just wiping and prepping the nail um, making sure there's no oils or debris on the nails I've already prepped and done all my cuticle work to save time because I am obsessed with cuticle work and will be here for the next 48 hours if we were to start playing around with mine so get all underneath the nail bed as well all around the cuticles Make sure every last bit of oil is off a little. There we go. So strange working in my beauty room and it's silent because it's just me. I'm used to having the radio on, but it's just me and you guys. Hi, Angie. So first off, we're going to get tack. So excuse my bottle. It is not in the best state at the moment because I... Um, awaiting a new bottle so I always find that when you get to the end sometimes like the actual like oh, you can see the brush doesn't maybe quite go to the very bottom so I just usually get an older brush which you can see I've got plenty on there now but I don't need that much because the uh, all we're putting on is a thin layer enough to still see the actual nail texture I don't know if my hand's in the way hang on let me grab the light a little bit that seems better just gonna massage it all into the nail really make sure it's all down sides see I'm getting silent notifications of my ring doorbell because I remember Mandy saying last night to make sure you put all your notifications off so they don't ping 
I mean, that took me a while to figure out how to do that. Just a little bit on there. Oh, blurry. Remember to self, I've got to keep talking, Jess, because my clients know whenever I'm concentrating, I always go silent or sometimes I'm holding my breath and I don't even realise. So I'm like, note to self, keep talking, Jess. <laughs> don't go quiet. Okay, so you can still see the nail texture on there. So you know the gel, the Jimmy gel that I'll be using is going to have a firm grip on that tack. So we're going to cure that for 30 seconds. Quick question, can Q and Lou be used for a waterless manicure? Hmm, well I'd say you'd probably need Q and, Q and Lou. Um, I'd probably say you'd need, if you're going to use the scrubs, um, then you definitely want to wash that off because um, it'll be all gritty on your hands and you'll want to get that all washed off uh, before you start putting like the oils and hand cream on. Um, so I definitely, maybe, if you want to do a waterless manicure, maybe just stick to, um, like the, um, oh, I did have it to hand. I don't know where I've put that. I think it's because I was putting it on myself. The, um, the oil, um, and just the body lotion itself, maybe just stick to that. If you want to do a waterless manicure. So I'm going to use Ideal Pink, um, Jimmy Gel. It's my favourite colour. It also comes in soft pink and peach and clear and white, I believe, but we're going to use ideal. So I'm just going to do just a thin layer of this as my base. Making sure I go all down the sides. And don't worry if like you get a little bit on your skin because we'll go round and remove that before we cure. Because it's very awkward when there's a camera, right, well, a phone right in front of you. And if you haven't got one of these, the Light Elegance Stylus, it's like a dotting tool without the dot on the end. It is a lifesaver when it comes to nails i find like just wiping around the edge because you don't really like you don't want to be using your fingers it's just a lot cleaner way so you cure that for 60 seconds i'm just changing the timer on my lamp just checking no more questions yeah it's fab i use it so much Um, and today, I forgot to mention, you definitely need to get onto the Light Elegance UK website as we've got Pro Beauty 20 as the discount code for 20% off. Um, and that's on till midnight tonight. Um, I definitely say get a move on with purchasing anything that you're needing, stock up um, of your favourites or anything you've run out of. Um, because last yesterday I went on and there was quite a bit sold out. So... The sooner, the better. What's my favourite go-to nail colour? My favourite is at the altar, um, buttercream. It's quite a few years old, that one. It was from a, like a wedding collection they did. Um, and I love that. It's my favourite nude. I'll get it out if it's to hand. So, I'm trying to see where I am. So that's ready to go. So I just get, I'd rather add smaller amounts than large because then you're less likely for it to spill or seep into the cuticle. So, I mean, that looks like quite a lot on there. So I'll just go a little bit less. So I would usually go like a little bit to the cuticle, kind of push, push up and drag down to the tip so 
it almost looks like that and then I tend to just get a very thin liner brush and I've probably gone a little bit too thin there maybe just add a little extra there we go um, and then just get a very thin brush and I just tend to drag it out myself with this because especially with this being on such short nails I don't want lots of thick product I want it to look as natural as it can do oh I'm not in I'm not in focus or in the frame we can hear it but is my gloves going squeak squeak so just going to drag that back just where I can see any dips just kind of playing around with the product really until it's where I'm happy Mm, no. a little bit more here I mean you can play and play for hours I think you can sometimes overplay because you're that like obsessed with it being perfect which is a good thing but then you can end up getting frustrated which is what you don't want but just take your time still see a little dip So I was doing my practice ones of these and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, these are going great on the live. It's going to be super smooth. And this is the one that I've mostly messed with. Always the way. So I'm going to leave it at that. So that again goes in for 60 seconds. Sorry, what Jimmy Jimmy did you use? Um, ideal ideal pink, but I haven't used like a huge amount. So if it looks like a little bit more um, transparent, not as um, not as covering, it's because I've not put that much on. I've done quite a light cover just because of the length of my nails. of my clients want a nude but they don't know what nude to go to I pretty much always force them to have at the altar that's what I wanted to get out really beautiful colour okay so I'm gonna wipe over now some people do like painting when there's like that still like, like inhibition shiny layer on it I personally don't I like to paint on like a matte surface I just feel like I've got a little bit more control of the paint um but that's just me it's personal preference at the end of the day in regards to the surface you paint on so wait for that to dry and then I'm using just white butter cream And then in regards to the amount that you put on your brush, again, I, I, I think little is better because you don't want like a massive thick blob like that where you're going to end up getting it all over your skin and here, there and everywhere. I'd rather use 
almost too little and then I can maybe just add a little bit more. So, so strange looking at it from a camera, but we'll get there. So, I think the perks as well, it, this me, me doing it on my own nails is I can kind of guide my own hand with the brush a little bit. Um, so I'll try and do it as if I was doing it on a client as close as possible. Um, so with the micro, I just literally go to the very, very edge. Very thin. I hope I'm not shaking too, or you can't see. That's not very good. Hang on. I'm blocking the view. Oh, that's better. Um, And just gently kind of follow just the natural nail edge round. Maybe do a little bit thicker in a second, but Again, it is a micro French, so you don't want it too thick. Oh, it's gone out again. So sorry. And just... Just take your time. I think French always daunts people because of, like, the time it takes and how finicky it can be, but... I think the best thing is not to focus on time too much. Time comes with just practice in general. Like I can probably do a French on some people in an hour, some people an hour and a half. It it's here and all there, but other people take two hours. It's I think it's mainly you need to focus on just getting your practice in and not putting too much pressure in. I think as well when you say that to your clients that. Oh, I, maybe I am a little bit slower at French. Like, it's not something I'm that confident in just yet. They'd probably appreciate it anyway more. You being honest, saying, it's going to take me a little bit longer because at the end of the day, they'll want a really beautifully finished nail. And if it takes that bit longer, I'm sure they won't mind. Okay. I've just got a little bit on my skin. So again, stylus, just going to clean under there. Just wipe that. So I'm quite happy with that. And that looks cute. So I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Hi, Kenny. Just going to double check there's no other questions. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Mandy. Just going through if there's any more questions or anything about the French. Um, as well, if you missed any of the lives yesterday, um, you can go onto the Light Elegance page and you'll see all the demos that we had yesterday. Um, from Jojo demoing the double glitter reverse French that was gorgeous um, Mandy demoing the marble with P plus and then we had a little bonus of the blooming um, nail art effect which was really cool to watch I've not done that before so I'm definitely gonna give that a whirl and Connie with her tortoise shell which I definitely had my notepad and pen out because my clients are um, obsessed um with that look and I've not yet nailed it so I've got to practice that um sorry not a question about the French but do you know if the tortoise shell will be posted uh, so I think there was a um a little bit of a problem with like I think Connie had like a notification on her page and it ended up taking her off but if I'm right I think Jojo has found a way but I don't want to say for definite um to post it um, oh, there we go. Um, to, um, it'll be posted tomorrow. 
Thanks, Jojo. <laughs> um, my ideal pink doesn't look um, the same as yours. It's a lot lighter. Um, is it not the soft pink? Because that is a lot lighter. Like, a lot lighter. It's almost like, um, like a milky pink. Um, so, maybe double check that. Or, I don't know if you've got the peach in it. That's obviously a little bit lighter. Um Maybe just double check, because um, it should be like this color. Um, so I'm gonna wipe over the white buttercream just to make sure that there's no color transfer um, when I'm doing the top coat. And I am gonna do another one just to show you again. Okay, the colours always look at that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, with different complexions, I suppose they all will look that slightly bit different on each person. So going in with the people's top coat. And that on, I think I could have ragged a little bit too much. There we go. Um, let's have a look if there's any more. My ideal pink seems to have gone a bit peachy. Hmm, I've not had any problems. So far with any colour change. Um I haven't got the um I haven't got the peach coloured one, so it's a bit annoying because I'd be good to um compare the two, sorry. That's strange. Um Can a little B, C be used under buttercream be used? I'm assuming B, C is buttercream. Um, under P plus for French nail art. Yeah, I I do. I've never had a problem with using buttercream for like nail art. I wouldn't, um, like... I probably wouldn't use like paint butter cream over the um P plus QD base. Um I think Mandy um covered that a little bit yesterday. You can get a little bit of pitting because it's like not in the quite the right family. Um if that makes any sense. Like P plus stay with P plus and then that's what I find. But um yeah, and then I just like to finish far at the end, um, just to like correct any shape as well. So, so not straight, just at a slight angle, and just do very tidy. And I do this when the inhibition um, layer is still wet because you don't want to wipe that straight away as it comes out of the lamp because it all, I feel like it doesn't start, go quite as shiny. I just leave it a little bit. So normally whilst, um, if I've got a client, I'll file all the nails while that's sticky still. Um, hence it all stick into the edge. And then by the time I've done all that, I'll wipe over. Yeah, that's a super thin little micro French. But I'm going to do another one. Um, but that's, well, which is already ready with the tack already ahead of myself. Um, so again, just go in with thin base layer of the Ideal Pink Jimmy Gel. need to remember that I'm on a live and this isn't for my eyes, it's for your eyes really. I need to almost watch myself through, through my phone. Right, 
this nail is slightly off because earlier today I broke it. That was perfect timing as well. But I wanted to show it on a natural nail. So there we go. So that's just going to go in again for 60 seconds. Yeah, you can't use super shiny or top gloss over P plus. Yeah, because that again, that'll cause like the pitting and lifting. It just, I don't find it lasts at all. Thanks, Angie. was anything else I needed to mention I did make a few notes but I have already told you about if you'd missed yesterday's live to definitely watch those because they're so good but yeah Connie's will be released tomorrow night which I will probably re-watch and re-watch and re-watch to make sure I get that tortoise shell right okay so that's cured going to get a little bit okay. push that to the cuticle and drag it down it's probably a better amount thought I'd wiped my brush from the French and I didn't, not very well organised even though I've had time to wipe it. So just going to drag just down the sides. Again I'm only using a small amount because it's not like it's an extension or anything, it's just my natural nails, which are really, really short. So I don't want a huge apex or anything. usually tell how even and if there's no bumps with the light it'll just come straight down the nail but if there's a bump the light will definitely let you see like how it dips a little bit there Again, I don't want to play too much with it before I have a paddy about it. So again, I'm going to let that cure for another 60 seconds. How is everyone doing tonight? hope everyone's enjoying the live so far. Let me know because this is my first and it's very daunting. And I have to keep remembering to breathe. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it, Angie. It was funny. Um, Angie messaged me this morning and was... Um, and I said that, oh, I was really excited for it and I was feeling great. Like, oh, yeah, it's going to be good after watching all the ladies last night. And then about an hour beforehand, I was like, oh, my gosh, I've actually got to do it now in an hour. And then that excitement drew into like pure nervous feeling sick. But I'm fine. I'm fine. Probably just nattering everyone's ears off. 
not even sure if I'm making any sense. And I'll probably, I don't know if I'll even be able to watch this back because the thought of hearing my own voice, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can watch it. It was a pain when I did my um, Come to Light Elegance with me. Hearing my own voice, it's just, it's never a good thing. Sorry, yeah, I'm putting on. So I'm just going to wipe that over because, again, I really hate working on a slip, um, a slippery layer. Um, I just like working on matte. I feel like I've just got a bit more control. So again, is that all? Is that? I thought it was... I had a phone call that um from my lovely mum, um, which is perfect timing as usual. Um, parents, that's uh, the one thing they always know the perfect time to call. <laughs> Um, so I think if that like jolted anything, I'm very sorry. Right. Can everyone hear me still? I'm just panicking in case like it's messed that up. I think everyone can. Yeah, it's, my video is playing smoothly. Okay. Right. So just going to get. that amount I like. I don't want to use too much because that's when it can get a little bit messy. So just going to follow kind of the natural whites of the nail and just follow that round. And what I was doing then, I was just making sure. Hmm. Blurry, there we go. See me again. I'm just gonna go over any little bits of nail that I've missed when focusing on the smile line. Because with the micro French, I tend to, I mean, you can make the smile line as defined or as soft as you want. You can, um, I personally, I just quite like following the very edge of the nail, like the natural shape that I've already put in. All right, that was completely out of, out of frame. Connect to that side. Just going to thicken that side up slightly. I'm not too fussed about that little bit there because that will probably, that will, well, it won't probably, it will come out when I file over to the finished file with the top coat on. So I'm happy with that. Because again, I'm just literally filing, um, I'm just literally following the natural shape of how my nail is. I'm oh, glad you can all hear me loud and clear. <laughs> Load and clear. <laughs> so again, that in for 60 seconds. And then when that comes out, I'm going to wipe over again, just to make sure no residue from the colour like 
drags when I do the top coat. It shouldn't when you do cure it for 60 seconds, but I'm just a bit, I'm just, just in case. Because there's nothing worse than when you've painted and then you paint over your top coat and then the colour starts dragging. Nothing worse. Because then you have to wipe it all off and start, well, not start the nail art again, but start the top coat again. So I'm just going to wipe over that. And then again, get the P plus top coat. Oh, don't know how I managed to get that there, but that's no bother. So I'm just going to get the top coat. And seal the deal with this. Sure, there was no bits in it there. Thought I could see something. Right, there we go. And again, 60 seconds. So yeah, those of you who are joining, um, if you don't know already, there's a 20% off code uh, that ends tonight. If you put Pro Beauty 20 in get you 20% off your order so if you need to stock up on anything definitely go over fill your baskets and get 20% off but that ends tonight um so definitely make the most of that um but if you're watching this at a later date um that 20% off code will definitely will probably have ended if you're watching it obviously tomorrow um but um, you can use code Jessica5 to get you 5% off your order. So every penny counts. So whether it's 20% off or 5% off, it's better than nothing. So again, that's all cured and shiny. So I'm just going to get a finished file and I'm just going to slot it just under the nail at a slight angle. And just tidy that free edge up because when you put product on it does end up kind of miss shaping the original shape that you'd put in so it just redefines that for you and again i've left the sticky layer on um so all the dust still sticks to the nail and then when i wipe off it'll all come off so less dust because you do not want to be Breathing any extra dust in. Yeah, I'm cute. Very cute. I do. I we, to be fair, I love doing French on other people, but on myself, I think because it's more time consuming doing it on yourself, especially when you go onto your opposite hand. Because I am slightly ambidextrous, but not as good as some people. So. If I was better, then I'd definitely have French more. So, and just to finish, gonna put on some cuticle oil. Rub all that in, all under the nail, around the cuticle. Always finish off with the bamboo lotion and a little goes a long way I mean really that's probably too much for two fingers but I'll put it all over my hands anyway because why not treat myself and this is a really nice lotion as well it's not a, like a cream that leaves you like with like a sticky layer on or anything like that it really soaks into the skin. And if you could smell it, it is so good. And 
And then my favourite part, which most of my clients absolutely hate because it goes through them, you have to finish with a squeak. And if you can hear it. If it doesn't sound like that, it's not squeaked enough in my eyes. Yeah, they definitely are your favourite, Hannah. I think, like, can you not have... Can you have something else other than a French for a change? Do you want to go for a bright colour? And it's, no, French. <laughs> so, there we are. That is the micro French tutorial. Um, yeah, my other, I think my biggest tip really when it comes to French and any type of French, whether it's your... Um, like reverse French or freehand French or micro French, just take your time. You know, it, it's just practice makes perfect at the end of the day. Um, and if you make a mistake, because it's gel, you can wipe it off and you start again. It's, um, you know, it's, I've gone blank, I've gone blank because I'm waffling on something, but, you know, I think I always think your clients will appreciate knowing that you're taking your time to perfect it and they'd rather that um than um you rushing and not getting it exactly how you want it to be or getting into a fluster about it just take your time and practice makes perfect at the end of the day let me see if I can twizzle you back onto me all shining probably because I've really broke a sweat panicking talking to everyone um I don't know if that's probably a slightly better light but um for so for the rest of the evening we've got Angie Necks doing a amazing leaf design if you've not looked at her nail art with the leaf patterns they're incredible so I'll be watching that and taking notes and then for the finale of all the lives we've got Lenore with um her floral nail art they are so beautiful so definitely going to be taking notes on them as well because they're perfect for spring um but thanks everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope i didn't waffle on too much and i hope i made sense when i was chatting um because i do waffle on <laughs> but thank you so much for taking your time to join the live and um yeah hopefully i'll do this again and maybe a little more calmer, a little less feeling sick and panicky. <laughs> but thank you so much. Bye.